Yo, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon, sneaking in a recording now, which, you know, it's a little more fun when the chat's, chat's involved. Sorry, moving the mic around a little. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, this team is probably not great, but we'll see what happens. We need more comedy writers. Everything's not funny now. We can't be woke. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm blab blabbering. Um. It's still really hot. <laughs> I don't do well in the heat. I do have the AC on though, so we're surviving. We'll be surviving this time. This time, at least, we will be surviving. Now the tennis ball we do know can work pretty well here. I think I'm going to roll. Yeah, just because the chance of this is pretty nice. Granted, the team is probably going to be looking pretty weak unless I combine these. But it then means maybe I can look for a level. I, I think I'd rather look for the cricket. I d I'm definitely not trying to level three, so certainly not. We need our tennis ball to snipe at least one, if not two of those. All right, we got one. We got one. It's enough. I appreciate that. Now this weekly has been something. I maybe got a little too ambitious yesterday. It's okay though. Do I look towards the future or do I try to invest in this now? Attack stats are hard to come by, but you know, this has some attack at least, so that's something. Okay, freeze for next turn, I guess. We did have to spend a lot of money already. <clears throat> I feel like the eel has worked best if you could get an early death touch on it. There is no donut to guarantee getting a death touch on something like that from what I can tell. Now the math here does not work out particularly well. Perhaps if we had a different set of things going on. And the question is do I take a level here? There's definitely some tier fours that are alright. Also a lot that maybe are not as interesting to me. Like this only works with the pill and nothing else. There is a number of things that work with spawners. <clears throat> so it's something to consider. I think I'm going to be a little greedy. This also can work well with you if we get some health on you, which I'm I'm now realizing you probably would want to get health on it via a cucumber or something, but here we are. <laughs> Here we are anyway. And I'm not trying to level three that, so we're just we're just sitting here, I guess. You know what would be sick is if uh, the toucan, if you get a uh, death touch on the toucan and then pass back the death touch. Now now that's pod racing, as it as they say in the business. Start here. I mean, that works pretty well. I guess, I guess I'm doing this because I'm guaranteeing level next turn, but I don't feel great about it. <clears throat> I don't feel great about it. I also don't think I'm probably going to level this, but... You get, we get more damage with the cricket in front of that thing. The tazzle whatever, I believe. Okay, egg, not a problem. That's a little bit rude, for sure. Get shot. Get shot. Okay. Not bad. I will take this now, though. It's the first time I've leveled three of Phil Dragon. Maybe we are keeping the Phil Dragon. <clears throat> None of these really help. Maybe we are keeping a Phil Dragon. I think I'm saving money for next turn. 
<laughs> this random mosquito in the back just like, don't look at me, don't look at me, I'm chilling. <laughs> uh, now, what I remember mentioning... Uh-oh, we're gonna get skunked. Hmm. That's a big crab you got there. Yeah, just a little bit too big. <clears throat> what I referenced for yesterday's video was that I had something uh, that happened in the grocery store I wanted to mention. That is still true. And what that was, was that I was shopping. And, uh, you know, they, they grocery stores be playing music over the, radio, over the speakers? Over the front, I don't know what, yeah, the speakers, like, you know, they play music. And I had like a sleeper agent activation moment. Um, this might not, might be too old for a lot of people, but this was for, um, CS 1.6 is where my memory of this comes in, which was, I am the one and only, I don't even know if that's the name of the song, but that piece of the audio played and I like, <laughs> I, I trant my mentals, I immediately like, you know, hairs up on the arms. <laughs> Panic, because for those of you not in the know, basically that would play in custom servers where uh, that would play if you were the last person alive on the team, which means you got to clutch up. Everyone's watching you now. Very intimidating at times, at times. I mean, not that intimidating, but relatively intimidating. I'm thinking about how what what would we do with this in the future if we even want to. As far as having something that spawns in front of it, I guess it would basically just be a whale or a harpy eagle, kind of, but not really. Mm, yeah, I guess not really. Um. Yeah, this meat was kind of a bad choice. Kind of a bad choice. It feels a little weird to change it now, but it also feels a little weird. One roll, because then we can sell, and then... The whale doesn't... I guess the whale gets one more shot off, but then... You're shooting for one damage, then one damage, then one damage, instead of two damage and two damage, so it doesn't actually make sense right now <laughs> to do that. It would get another trigger for the frill dragon so that's something i mean that's the same as this but i guess i guess like this is just a bigger unit so then maybe you do that so that we have two like we could potentially get another spawner in here and then have like if the whale levels then you do the cricket and i don't know i don't know if it makes sense i don't know if it makes sense or not but we're in limbo i would say a similar-minded individual back here. Mmm, it's a lot of attack. Golden egg would have been nice that turn, I would say. Golden egg would have been nice that turn. This song is a little intense. I would say. What is this song? Casio Mario World. I don't know. It's a Mario hack, apparently. Mm. Friend ahead faints. Deal four damage to the highest health enemy. That is more damage. Like, if we do this, then that actually does do more damage. It'll do three shots of that. And we get money back with this. Yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. I know the sandworm, worms of sand, sorry, is definitely something, but I feel like, and then that would have been half level too. <clears throat> there isn't a lot of faint triggers for you to work with, huh? We would have gotten so many sandworms and then try to get the hamster going would be the next play, but not feeling so confident on our situation. We were doing pretty well for a little bit there. All right, at least we... <gasps> what just happened? <laughs> I 
the whale, so it sniped this, but then that didn't spawn until after the whale, so then he, oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I feel like that's one of those moments when you're like, I don't think the game wants me to win. This isn't even good, I just take it for the level. I think we want to take the phoenix, but then what am I doing with this? So this will be a basically a 7 8 it's not much I mean we could go psycho mode <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea it's actually super not a good idea we should do like this and then this Obviously, the Harpy Eagle's good, but, like, we need stats to go with that, so... We're on one health. There's almost no chance we get to the end, but... Hmm, and a skunk, too, huh? To get rid of my one good unit. Well, I will say the lemon definitely paid off. The lemon certainly paid off that time. But we have to win six more times, which seems unlikely. <clears throat> Seems unlikely. I don't even know what we're looking for at this point. Because we, I feel semi-locked into this. But at the same time, there's no way we can get to 10 with this like this. You would need some level of scaling. Whether that's this, and then you get rid of this to get some scaling involved. Or you completely abandon the snipes. And still kind of like do this and get some scaling involved I think in the short term the frog shots are gonna be pretty strong but in the long term they will not <laughs> so I think I'm doing this for now I don't know what to do with that I mean, I guess you could do this. It doesn't seem like that makes a lot of sense, but maybe, maybe that matters. Stingray something. Skunk ability, probably. Just because we have a lot of little, little baby guys. And one semi-statted guy. There's the hamster. Hmm. Well. Let's just watch the chaos happen, shall we? Yep, we're dead. We can't kill something that's that big. Although the burn's gonna help a little bit, but definitely not enough. The funny thing is that, like, it actually was almost enough. <laughs> like, there's the burn killed the rest of their team. It was an interesting idea, but certainly you needed an, a component of either Death Touch or, uh... Any stats beyond the the frilled dragon there. Okay, so... I'm not doing the frilled dragon again. Abandoned. Abandoned. Uh, metal, snooty... Feet. Rolling eyes. You rolling your eyes at this song that sounds like a child singing. Which I'm pretty sure it is, but whatever. Get sniped. Oh, but you sniped my thing too. We win. Okay. I'm just gonna let this play instead of skipping. It's still a fun little song. Um, sure. He... He's spitting. <laughs> He's spitting. Let him spit. Let him cook. Um. What else happened this week? Oh, the new Eminem album came out. I have not listened to it. I don't really plan to, but it is a thing that happened. I don't know if it's good or not. I feel like I haven't really heard anyone talk about it besides like, Oh, the album came out. Did you hear it? No? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> And then that's like the end of the conversation. So, oh, okay. 
Doorhead Ant plus Meat does usually go pretty well. We could also gamble on a Yak situation. But I'm, I'm gonna go with this. Let me try this out. Okay. Still kind of playing for the immediate and then looking to pivot afterwards, it seems, right now. That's a reasonable trade. Yeah, I mean, if we're doing this, we're doing this, I guess. Okay. Sorry. What was... There's something to be said about doing the stats and then getting the wasp in, which I think I do like the idea of getting the wasp involved a little bit here. And I, I might save this for another round in the future. I was eyeing this toucan and like, okay, you can pass back an egg for now or meat or something. It's not the worst. I don't, I'm gonna actually, I'm going to roll. Okay. That way we'll get two levels and some of it actually matters. This is a uh, cult of the lamb, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Fun game. Played that during an NSO game trial, much like Sparks of Hope. Okay, that was pretty well well and done there with the meat efficiency getting a hit on the frill dragon, but that is the frill dragon difference. Now if we can get some attack on you that would be nice. I mean it works well with that. There's just not really a lot of ways to get attack stats. <laughs> Unless we do this and change it to this thing. Certainly a choice. That's its start of turn. Okay. Okay. I guess we don't need it up front the first turn here. That definitely is some value behind a cricket. Maybe, maybe too greedy, not uh, selling the doorhead ant or not selling the mosquito. Mm, that did not work out well. I don't think we were winning even with this, but maybe. Maybe. There's only tier 3 foods. I don't think... Well, if, I guess a cucumber on this would be good to match the other stats. So you're a three, so you're a five, six. They both have six coins of value spent on them. I guess that's the trade-off to consider. That's the trade-off to consider. Now we would really like to find a wasp and level it beforehand. That stinks. That stinks. Hmm. Okay, at least they didn't shoot the tatsel whatever. Still not even close though. Level two chop fish? Must be nice. I think we have to go for this type of gamble. Okay. Would have loved that previously. Mm. Okay. I mean, he's. Nine eights, no joke, but I think we're gonna run into people that already have like double digits, yeah, like this. And then a lot of health from those. <laughs> Alright, just getting stomped. This is cool. That's cool, that's cool. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh huh. Sure. Okay, all right. Well, let's hope for the best, shall we? I don't think a single 11-11 is uh, gonna be good enough. No. Definitely not. Well, it's a bummer. It seems like uh, I did like the same team twice and neither of them worked. <laughs> so that's great, I guess. Uh, probably last one here then. Can't quite go out like that. That's a little bit too much. I'll, I'll help no attack the team. Not, not been the best session. It seems that maybe going for these Cricket plus Tatzel, whatever the name is, is not the way. It is not enough. You just actually have to keep invested a little bit longer than maybe I'm doing. Maybe I'm switching a little too early compared to other folks. Uh, I guess this. Yeah, sure. Not even freezing the ferret. Oh, interesting. You're going with the one damage in front. That's it. That is definitely a choice. Oh my god, the no attack stat team almost lost again. <laughs> Turns out having no attacks stat works for a while. Basically, each time I lost, it was still in the phase of Units with some um, attack, but a lot of health were good, like those eels. Mm. Freeze that, because we might just spend it. Uh huh. Does make a ton of sense. Makes a little more sense now. <laughs> Makes a little bit more sense now. This dolphin hopefully carries. We got a lot out of that. <laughs> Brutal? Brutal. That's tough. <laughs> so that unit's pretty good, it turns out. Mm, yeah, well, nah, I won't freeze it. You go back here. Alright, surely this round we do okay, right? Okay? Okay? That should- that should work. That should work. Skunk. Definitely a skunk. Definitely a skunk. Um, what else? Okay. Well, I think I'd rather this first, actually. We're not level 3 in the Termite. Another one of those is good, that's good for that as well. Get rid of Termite next? I mean, it's pretty good this turn, but... Or it's still pretty good as a 5-7, but... Mmm, the math there is a little unfortunate. I mean, it, okay, the Skunk helped. The Skunk definitely helped on that one. Thank you. Mr. Skunk. I'm thinking about how I probably should have just dropped the dromedary and had these two frozen and then that way we could keep the termite. But 
but here we are. Here we are anyway. Okay, now roll for level next turn. Yes. How about another? Well, not really you. I mean, yeah, probably not. Probably level two is where you want to go on that. Okay. I think we're keeping the skunk, so even though, you know, maybe would make more sense to feed the dolphin. I feel like this makes a lot of sense too. Okay. You got a lot of stats there. Got a lot of stats there, huh? That was a temporary 7-5 termite as well, because that can't actually get that big being a level 2, right? Okay. The ever-present question. <laughs> Health or attack? Well, there are walrusai. It's not, I think you just say walruses. There are walruses, multiple walruses, that we can attempt to pill in the future, which is better with health. This gives health, but this gives health. Sure. Okay. Alright. I might have skipped the tier one there on the roll a little bit, but... Love that. Love those two hits. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Or Mrs., I don't know. I'm pretty sure Mr. Because of, like, the main, but... I ain't no Mooseologist. I ain't no Meesologist. Hmm, there would have been the level for that, huh? <clears throat> Order here should be changed. You know, it is greedy to do that, of course, because of the whole death touch stuff. I think... Well, we could take it next turn. We could greed that. Oh, I haven't been... What am I doing? I have to take this. <laughs> I have a moose. Oh, God. If I took that before the rolls, would I have been able to sell the drama dairy for that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's all gone. It's all gone, and I'm stupid and bad. Bye, Mr. Monkey. All right, not my best. I'm this. I guess I'm just all over the place this week. Oh, well, that's a good skunk, huh? Although, I don't really know what happened to the rest of their team. I think they got sniped by dolphins. Monkey, no. Okay. I'm not leveling the dromedary, right? There's a decent amount of misses there. It's just the moose is much better to level. Don't lemon this. It doesn't do anything. Step on your right foot. Don't forget it. Alright, you can go now. Alright, now we got some health. And we could definitely still bring in a walrus here. I don't know what I would be bringing it in for, but... Do we live? Mm, kind of. Yeah, we live. We live. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> I feel pretty dumb for that. I don't think I'm trying to level 3 this dolphin. Nah. I am not. It's kind of tempting to take the monkey, huh? Just to get even bigger. Or, like, change up. Start getting the skunk bigger or something. Like, this already has a decent amount of st stats. That's why I'm like, oh, I don't want to necessarily get rid of the dolphin, but... I feel like this is a, uh, an insane thing to be doing, but I'm doing it. Because it seems like we're not running into the whole walrus showing up thing. <laughs> seems like that's not really happening. And you're not even giving me tier 1s? I'm 
It's pretty rude. It's pretty rude, I would say. Now, I, I do also understand that this thing in the front doesn't actually trigger any... Like, you, unless they snipe something, I don't get to spawn out of it, but... The good news is that uh, we did get a spawn and took the, the double damage from that. Oh no, you still won. How'd you do that? I don't know if the dolphin would have saved us there. There's the walrus. There's the walrus. Do I get rid of a monkey for that? I think I don't unless I see the pill to go with it. I also don't think I'm level 3 in you. It's too much money given the circumstance. Oh, there's the pill. Hold on. Okay, all right. Hold on. We got a decision to make. That was the one reason to not have the harpy in front and let this get buffed because we know we're keeping this 100%. I feel like the skunk is going to be really good this game. But I guess the skunk is sort of serving the same purpose as a death touch as far as killing a big guy. It just makes it that this guarantees to kill the big guy, I guess. It's questionable. I don't even know who I want this to hit. Yeah, sure. And then now you can do that, sure. And then potentially just buy another moose here yeah i think i have to <laughs> the chocolate would be nice and everything but the other good thing about buying this as a moose means that if there's another walrus we can you know merge the moose in and then have another slot for walrus death touch you have triple skunk kind of one hp you say That is, that is unfortunate. <laughs> that is, that one, that's not necessarily what I wanted to see. I, am I supposed to not be? Where are the two ones? You're so stupid. Man, you're so dumb. You're such a dumb game. <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? No tier ones that were there at all. How does that even happen? Uh, double death touch kills here is pretty solid. Oh no. I also feel like I've never seen this unit in the shop for me. <laughs> this behemoth or whatever it's called i never see this guy whatever this week this weekly is apparently not jiving with me whatever that's fine <laughs> jiving with me less than the like 70 year old boomer that went to the dodgers game and then the hollow live uh, girls are singing take me out to the ball game instead what the hell is going on uh well that's okay it's all right. This weekly was not something that was uh, getting me all too excited anyway. There's a little bit too many dead units in this, in my opinion. So hopefully the next weekly has a little bit more synergy or at least units that work instead of trying to hunt. We'll see. <laughs>